Today I wanted to bring with you uh, a good friend of mine who's put, I w- I've been podcasting I think longer than him, but we met at a podcast conference and it was done after that. So guys, I want you to meet my friend, Stephen Hart. Wait, which way? This way. Stephen? <laughs> <laughs> We're like, wait, which way does this go? Hey, Amy. What's going on, my friend? What's good? I, as you're introducing me, I'm thinking, man, that's almost five years ago. It's almost five years. It's almost not, five years ago. Not only five years. So we met in Chicago, I believe, yeah. right? It was Podcast Movement, yeah, which is a huge Chicago, conference for podcasters, guys. And Chicago is where we met, only to find out he's down the street. <laughs> not even like down the street. Yeah, well, okay, so it's a little bit of down and around the corner kind of thing, but you're not far. And that's not the by, thing. not no. by Indian and Jamaican standards. No, no. <laughs> no, you're my neighbor. Please, that's you're my neighbor. Look that's that's what that is. That's what that is. But we connected through podcasting. I mean, yeah. I want to say that um, meeting you and connecting with you as a podcaster has been one of the blessings of my life. And I, he is doing amazing things. So I'm going to shut up because I want you to tell these guys when you started podcasting, what are you podcasting about? And, you know, how is it going today? Where, what episode are you on? Right. Uh, Wow. What episode am I on? (laughs) So Amy, thank you so much for having me Uh, again. I am the host of the trailblazers.fm podcast. I have actually started trailblazers on February 1st of 2016. And so just recently celebrated five years of podcasting. I'd say the the idea behind the podcast uh, came from uh, my daughter at the time uh, I am a I'm a black professional married to a black professional I'm very entrepreneurial uh, and we live in a as Amy shared we live in Maryland um, so, which is such a melting pot for successful professionals and yet in mainstream media all too often I would see uh, stories that I couldn't necessarily agree with right of black success um and that came for 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 to towards role models for my kids my daughter then was probably four years old i don't really see people who are celebrities and musicians and and the like and i thought you know more has to be said and done to to show her representation to show her possibilities and so that was the idea i was always a podcast consumer, uh, but I said, you know what, let me, let me give this thing a shot and see what, what can become of it. I had no prior audience. I had absolutely, and probably Amy will tell you still don't have as firm a grasp on all the, 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 the terminology that comes with audio. Uh, I am somebody that keeps it minimal. I love to have a good conversation. And so over time, I just put in the work uh, to get to where we are today, which is uh, over 220 episodes in, uh, you know, <laughs> the five-year span. Um, Go ahead, which blow is their mind. Go, blow their mind with the downloads. The downloads, uh, right at about 400,000. Right at about 400,000 now. <laughs> hard work, guys. Hard work. He's put it in. He's found the right people. I mean, this isn't something that was an overnight success by any means. I mean, no. a lot of credit to the work you put into this. Yeah. And, you know, the, 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 the thing, as Amy just asked, you know, how much downloads I think Amy and I both appreciate and we we go through these seasons of, you know, as as a podcaster, you measure your impact, you measure success or failures uh, by the download. And but Amy will be the first to tell you that you just need that one person Mm -hmm. that you have impacted uh, to say, you know, I listened to this episode you did with X. And that changed everything for me. And you realize that you have, I often say at the end of episodes, 
when I ask people to share the content, I ask them to share because I firmly believe that someone listening to an episode that is going to impact them most has the potential to change, change things now, but change things for the future for others as well. And that's really powerful. And I think you have to ask. I mean, some people are like, don't ask. That's not right. But I think sometimes people don't know how they can help you or mm -hmm. how they can uh, spread the word, so to speak. Right. It's just like social yeah. media. And so when you listen, you like, but on a podcast, what do you do? And there's a power in sharing what you're learning with the people around you in your network. And there's Absolutely. always nuggets flying. Always. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I firmly believe in, 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 and, and we are media brands, right? Like we are creating good content. Like I said, there was a void for content showcasing black success, mm -hmm. uh, which led to me creating trailblazers. Now I talk with so many people, Dean and out that have spun up their own version of a black podcast focused on a niche of what I focus on and we'll say, Hey, you know, I appreciate you being, you know, five years, you're like Godfather status. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. But, but at the same time, what you did to you at that time was just address something that was missing. Right. Yeah. And for me, when I started chasing dreams, I was addressing something I thought was missing because I did it uh, for my younger cousin who yeah. didn't see other people being happy in their pursuits. She saw mm. she had a limited view. And so I started interviewing people who were happy. And that was, that was actually the requirement. It was like, you're happy with what you are doing in life. Because yes. all she saw, right, as Indians was STEM. And mm. she had writing ambitions, poetry. And I was like, mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring those people forth so other people can see that there are other options out there. And I want to go to a point that you mentioned about numbers, because I don't think we should be looking at numbers, even though I was like, Stephen, tell your numbers. That's a, that's a number to be proud of. Yeah. But, I, but what do you say to the person who has a super niche, right? Super niche topic. Do you think they'd be getting 400,000? I don't think uh, so. Even to speak to that, I think had I not had a niche, I would have had 4 million downloads, but the quality of the content would not have been what it is. I think the quality over the quantity is so very important. So whether that number is 400, 4,000 or 400,000 or 4 million, right? You are having an impact. You, sometimes I I will walk into an auditorium or I'll walk into an arena and I'll walk into a stadium and I put in perspective, I'm a basketball fan. If we yeah. go watch uh, the, the Washington Wizards play ball and you're in an arena of, a, you know, 20 something thousand people and you put that in perspective, like, yeah in a couple months, right? Or in the course of a year, I've had people to fill this place up so many times. It, it, it puts things in perspective on, on, on that, right? And I, I think that's, it's not so much that a download isn't important. What we lose sight of is what that download represents. It's a person who you are having an impact on. I think you go back to the word impact. I mean, I think if you are someone who is talking about families, right, there are some podcasts out there who speak towards families who have someone that is suffering from a rare condition, medical condition, right? right? It's already rare. So to find an audience is probably even rarer. But for the person who is Googling or YouTubing or looking on Apple Podcasts, that podcast that you're putting out there means the world to them. Yes. Right. It absolutely does. And that's why I said it. you just need that one. Mm -hmm. You just need to know that there's that one person that you are impacting. Now, 
That said, I'm a big believer in getting very clear on that niche, getting very clear on that target audience that you're trying to serve and and whatever the size of that audience is, you know, making sure you get clear on who the group of people are in that audience, uh, what are the problems that they are dealing with, and and then going about the task of creating contents, whether that's you just sitting behind a microphone and speaking to a, a problem and solution, or you're interviewing other people and trying to extract wisdom from experts and gurus and people who have you know a, a firm grip on that particular issue that can speak to the needs of your audience and so for me that was interviewing other people and so I, for me i interview successful black professionals but i'm not just interviewing just anyone i am more and more looking at the the audience that i serve as black leaders black entrepreneurs and i'm figuring out by way of all of these black leaders and entrepreneurs i'm talking to what's keeping them up at night and then trying to figure out a way to to address certain key topics certain problems that they're dealing with and finding the right person to speak to that and so if Amy is, for example, a consumer of my podcast and Amy and I are talking and she says, Stephen, I'm dealing with this challenge. This is what's keeping me up at night right now and I can't figure out a way around it. And I have a, an interview coming up where I think somebody could speak exactly to Amy's issue. I'll position the interview while I'm the host, the questions I'm asking, I'm, I'm sitting from the seat, from the vantage point, from the perspective of how can I solve Amy's problem? And what I've found more and more uh, to be the case is that you can solve, if I can solve Amy's issue, I can solve a ton of other people who have the exact same problem that Amy does. And those episodes tend to travel so much more and get so much tra more traction, more than what we call a one hit wonder. You start to see where, you know, that content of value gets shared up over and over and over again. It's amazing how an episode will hit better than you think it will. Right. Absolutely. I've had, I've had episodes I didn't think were great. Uh, people resonated with, I've had episodes that I thought were great. Uh, be okay. It's it's right. just you never know what will work. It's just experimentation. And um, let's talk about your beginning journey, right? You've been doing this for about five. It's almost six years, probably five. I think. Yeah, five. Five, five years. Yeah. What is years last month. what is the most memorable mistake you've made that gave you a lesson learned that you can share with these guys? Ooh, so many. Um, yeah, right. What, one one moment that comes to mind was back in the day, we didn't have as much technology as we have right now to record. So when we started, I remember I was recording over Skype for a period of time, and I was using this platform. Um, I don't want to call them out, but I'm going to call them out. It's like <laughs> pa Pamela for Skype or something. Do you recall? Oh, was that Pamela? Windows? That was Windows, right? Yeah, it was Windows. Yeah. It's so like... I'm using um... Skype, we have call recorder for the Mac version. Right. And I'm using this tool and I had this amazing interview, but it was the first time I was interviewing two people at once. Mm. And I had this amazing conversation with them. And I am, I'm such a glad bag, right? Like I get so excited when I have a really good call yeah, you do. and I would literally stop in the call, rewind, you know, and hit play. <laughs> And I hit play and it played for like two, like two minutes. And then it just went eh, like <laughs> current podcasters out there are like, oh, no, like it just died. And and even now, when you ask me that a, a part of my soul, just I know <laughs> it's like, uh oh, <laughs> just, just how what? And then you're thinking you're going through the motions of, OK, maybe. Maybe this, maybe it recorded some somewhere else. <laughs> maybe maybe there's a secret place. I don't know. Let me look on the forums to see if it auto backs up. I I was the 
depressed. I, I, I couldn't even call the person back for probably two weeks. I was like, I was just down, like a part of my soul just left me. And not, you know, there's so many mistakes you make, though, as podcasters, right? Uh, did you, and just in general. How, how did you fix that going forward? Was there a, a lesson learned? Don't use Pamela. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry Pamela. for all the, sorry sorry, for Pamela all the users. Pamela's out there. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I am a little bit more deliberate about the tech and the setup that I have, um, I, for a long period of time, I would not let go of having a physical recorder mm -hmm. capturing the audio in addition to whatever tech I've since gotten comfortable, probably too comfortable. I, I, no, Ben, I still have a separate recorder. You still have a separate recorder. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, I mean, now I rely more on the tech um, and I feel comfortable enough with it. But yeah, it, it took me a while. It took me a long time to 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 have that trust level. I, I think we all have to remember, you know, things could happen. Yeah. Right? No matter how many um, backups on backups on backups, things will happen. And things will just, always happen. You just got to be OK with that. I mean, don't let that stop you from starting. And you shared, you talked about earlier off the record uh, before we got on about a tweet you posted. Can you talk a little bit about yeah. that? Yeah. So I have been this year, I have been nonstop uh, creating live streams like we are in right now. And I've consistently. been consistently, consistently. doing yeah. live streams three times a week. Uh, which is a big commitment, uh, especially when you don't know what you don't know. Uh, and, and so today I shared this tweet and it says, are you brave enough to be bad at something new? Are you brave enough to be bad at something new? And that comes from a place of, hey, I don't know what I don't know. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this thing anyway. So for you, it might be podcasting. It might be taking that idea that you've been sitting on for the last year or two and taking the first imperfect action, uh, knowing it's not going to be good. Uh, and let me just say this, none of us are happy with our first to <laughs> first, you know, few episodes of our podcast, especially episode one. That's a badge of honor to be able to go back and listen to. Uh, and and so you you take it, you run with it, you you own that badge and you know, you keep moving and each and every time you do an episode, you get better at it. And and you just keep moving. I talk about it as um you got to have your origin story, right? You have to have that. Iron Man has it, Captain America has it. Yes. What's your origin story? I mean, it's never going to be pretty, but you got to start somewhere so you can get moving. I mean, and the thing is too, Amy, it's like we wait, we sit there and we wait and we say, when, when X, Y, Z happens then. Yeah. But oftentimes if we don't take the action, if we're waiting a year out from now for things to be perfect, you still have to start then. And you're not going to know all you need to know uh, until you get that going. Doesn't work it that way. Doesn't right. work that way. You're never going to have that perfect moment. So the person who starts now in an imperfect setup and gets going is going to have so much more than you a year out when you finally pick up and say, "Let me just try." Right. So day one over one day every time. Every time. And, you know, you never know where podcasting will take you. It's taken me some amazing places. I've had some life-changing experiences because of it. What is something that you can attribute that's changed your life from podcasting? There is so much. I mean, so the obvious high-level things, credibility, author authority, awareness, um, the networking, uh, my job today, uh, I'm still gainfully employed by day. And two years ago, 
had the opportunity to join the largest cybersecurity training firm in the world uh, as a marketing leader. And that was, I had all the marketing boxes checked, but was able to bring my skill in new media in podcasting to the table. And today it's one of my biggest strengths in that space of 40 something marketers is that I'm, I'm often the one who is willing to bring podcasting, bring, bring, now bring live streaming, now bring clubhouse and, yeah. and different things that, you know, I'm the one willing to, to do bad till I do good. And uh, so, but there are so many opportunities and so many people that I've met and, and, um, and it's, it's been amazing. I mean, yeah, I call this, you know, this, these pictures behind me Let are a, fully. a few of my, and it goes even further up beyond this, but you know, these are some of the folks I call, uh, my, my daughter calls my Paul of fame, my podcast as hall of fame, but there are amazing people who I likely would not have met if not for podcasting who have just accomplished amazing things in, in their lives. Somebody that's a little bit, you know, further up, um, on here is the first black woman to build a billion dollar company in the United States. And just the opportunity to share in an hour of time with her, uh, was just, you know, mind boggling. There's no other way I would have that conversation if not for podcasting. And I think a lot of people often think that there's a barrier, right? Can you talk about the fact that did you already have these connections, right? No, that's, think- that's, that's absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, let me tell you what you need to know. You do not need to have any prior following. You do not need to have a whole lot of equipment. You do not need to have a whole lot of money. Majority of podcasters are, this is a side hustle for them. Uh, What you need to have is discipline to come in and just consistently put out the best possible episode yeah. you can put out right now you didn't say perfect Knowing in it in however state it is right uh, we will work to improve on it each and every episode but amy one of the best things i did through this podcast and i'm i'm and i'm most proud of mm-hmm. is that for 200 i'm an independent podcaster for 205 consecutive weeks I put out a brand new episode on a Monday morning at 5 a.m. Eastern. I don't brag about, you know, the the downloads. I don't brag about the guests that I've had on the show. But for me, working a full-time job, having two young kids, having this, this, this podcast that I'm so proud of, and being able to bring a new episode, there's so much... Yeah. in editing and doing and you know, recording and and all of that but you know i'm i'm blessed i'm most honored about that the consistency because the content's great but the consistency is huge to just keep hit and play keep hitting record keep editing keep putting that out keep putting new content out to the world anybody can do everything else anybody right but the consistency now that takes work. That's yeah. that's the tough part for sure. And life happens, right? Life yeah. happens. Life happened to me where that eventually broke that streak, right? Um, I had a parent who got ill and that became very difficult. And at that point, almost four years in, I had to pause the podcast for you know several months. And so things happen. Um, not saying that, you know, life doesn't happen. COVID happened and took a lot of people <laughs> out last year, um, out of that rhythm, oh, some people out of this world. Right. Um, unfortunately, um, so we, we do what we do with the time we have, mm-hmm. but I, I think it is such a great medium. Um, there are podcasters, there are podcast consumers, um, who, our diehards, the average podcast consumer is listening to six or seven episodes or six or seven podcasts, right? Is that still the the going 
um, tale? The the average consumer listening to about six or seven shows. I think so I think so. I mean, yeah. I do. <laughs> I think this morning I was just binging on probably three or four different shows in my queue. Yeah, and 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 so the the, the goal has to be one. You know, creating content of value for a very niche group of people. And then two, you know, just doing it again and again and again. Find a cadence, find a frequency that you can can live up to. Because we don't, you and I, uh, you touched on Marvel. Um, I'm a I'm a, a big lover of Disney Plus and and recently got through Mandalorian and and WandaVision, mm-hmm. right? Um, on the Star Wars side with Mandalorian, but uh, which I feel like the two are just about to meet. <laughs> uh, but you know, it, if if I know a new episode mm-hmm. of my favorite Marvel uh, or my favorite Star Wars show is going to come out on a Friday night at eight, and for whatever reason they don't show up. They didn't publish. Oh, right. sorry, we never got to it. I'd be mad, <laughs> right? But. I'd be tweeting about Disney Plus. Now, mind you, Disney, you know, Disney's Disney. But in the same way, I want you to treat yourself like a media brand. Yeah. I want you to look at yourself as such. You might be a podcaster. I I'm now growing. Amy's now growing her platform beyond the audio only. We're now introducing video. And we continue to evolve over time. You are a media brand. And and so you have to just figure out what am I gonna do? When am I gonna do it? And get it done. It's it's um it's not pretty like us figuring this stuff out, but we know that practicing and trying puts us ahead of all the people who are sitting on the couch still. Yes. Right. Right. So absolutely. That's all we want you guys to do is just to start and look into it, consider it. That's why we're having these Y series. And so um, as we begin to get wrapping up, I do want to remind you guys that if you want to get the starter equipment, we have a small guide set up. You can reach it at Amy J. I don't know why this is here. See, this is, this is the learning. Uh, you can get the starter equipment from uh, amyj21.com slash begin to podcast simple guide explains the things you need tells you kind of what you need to do so you can get it together and start we have a course coming up soon it'll launch at the end of april be sure to get ready to check that out but you know if you want we're going to have more of these conversations just subscribe join us on youtube it's uh we don't have an official name yet because we're still trying to get subscribers but we're on youtube it's amyj21.com slash pv on youtube i think is what we did but You'll find us. Search for us. It'll there. Stephen, before I bring on someone special, uh, let these people know how they can find you and where where to listen to your podcast. Absolutely. You can find everything over at stevenahart.com. Uh, and I am at Stephen A. Hart on uh, Instagram and Twitter, which is where I hang out most. Uh, but invite you to shoot up, shoot me a message in the DMs and, and let's connect. One of the, one of the best things about Steven guys is he is easy to talk to. He's easy to reach. I mean, it, you are, I mean, people, yeah. you're very open. You're very giving with your time. You're very understanding about that. So that is something I think, um, people, people are afraid sometimes to reach out. So even though you said that, I want to make sure you all understand he means it. Yeah. Yeah. And no, I, I, I always appreciate having a good chat in the DMs and and connecting with the folks who consume. You've given what twenty minutes to to listening to a conversation of ours, thirty minutes of your time, and I I want to always be open and inviting to us continuing that conversation. So absolutely, feel free to reach out. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, if you are still here, we're we're trying to get this bonus episode going. We'll see if if we can make it happen i don't know but um so this is new for me the whole uh thing with media as steven says he's more <laughs> adept at at doing all this other stuff with video and ant is trying to join let's see if he can actually make that happen i don't know when was the last time you talked to ant 
it's been a long time. <laughs> yeah, is it? Ant, if you're watching, join. Come come join us. Come on, Ant. Don't, come don't through, be man. hiding. Now you got to come through because we talked a, about it. A virtual ear hug. <laughs> <laughs> when did you meet Ant, by the way? At Podcast Movement. Uh, could it have been 17 or 18? 17. Anaheim. That was it. 17 in Anaheim. Sounds about right. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see if I got him. Yeah, it was. Because then after that, it was Philly, right? What yes. up? Yo. We did it. <laughs> it worked. This I, is such a crowning What's good, brother? Me. I'm good. I'm good. Give me one second, though, because I've got, like, I've been listening to the live, and I've also got the uh, <laughs> <laughs> So it's a real kind of, I feel like I'm going through um, Inception. So I've got like, oh, Tenet, if you've seen that movie, I've got two different sounds. Um, so let me go. Right. Okay. I'm here. Hey, man. That, honestly, I've just been sat here watching that. And obviously, I, I, I know I know you and I know what you do really well. But that that whole interview there it was just blowing my mind. And the, there's so many bits I was like, Oh my God, I wish I was writing this down or somebody was recording it. And thankfully, we have <laughs> there. Uh, uh, oh, like just so many things that just fired up in my head. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. And I think what I really liked about it, and I, 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 maybe maybe you have, have a similar thing with somebody else, but I think I was watching you talk about things and I was like, you are eloquently expressing the things that are in my head that I struggle to get out. And you're just putting yeah. them in a easily digestible way. Whereas I might put like a whole book. You've got a you've got like a little flyer that just says this. I'm like yes, yes. It's like he's been doing it or something. I, I don't <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the, the great thing bit. about it is we've we've all been doing it and in different ways and in different places and for different yeah. reasons. And the the thing that popped into my mind when you were talking about starting is when you look like I just had. Uh, uh, an interview with a big media organization yesterday, which I'll, I'll talk about off air later. But the um, the thing about those, like whether it's like ABC, HBO, BBC, Fox News, whatever you want to pull out, even Disney, they started somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like they, yeah. they, at one point it was one day. Like we talk about Disney now. Disney's like, what, 80 years it's been running, something like that. There's that 80 years. Of, and that's why Disney is as big as it is now. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and that's built up over time and it's got to that stage. And maybe one of us will become, we'll have our own theme parks in the future. Uh, you you <laughs> just don't know where it's going to happen. But it starts off with, with with an idea and a passion and we've all got these different ones. And I think we also have within that different definitions of success and enjoyment and, and, and all those other things. And... Yeah, I, I think we were talking about when we first met. Okay, I think it was well. the same time same time that I met Amy, and I think Amy introduced me. So that would yeah. have been Anaheim. Yes, it was in Anaheim. That's where I got you and Amy to do pictures with me. <laughs> <laughs> I am thinking about that now. If you guys are ever in a room with us, don't ever not come say hi, because we, yes. we're just good to be around. We're just fun. Yeah, I love that. The, the, the thing I found with, with and I, I think it's not just you guys as well. I think there's something about podcasters, which has mm. certainly lasted as long as I've been in the game, that there's like a fraternity about podcasters. like, And it's ridiculous. It's just the number of times I've, I've bumped something into somebody at a, a conference, been having a really co good conversation. They said, hey, we're, we're going to go and get some lunch. Do you want to come join us? Or we're going to go for dinner. And I've come and I sat around this table. Yeah. And it, it's like being at thank someone's for Thanksgiving. And then you realize that they've all just met each other. Yeah. And it's just it's just crazy. And as Amy says, come over and say hi. Like, make sure you have time to hang out because yes. we just talk a lot. <laughs> we'll go from uh, getting coffee to having dinner to having a yeah. nightcap to, like, what time is it? Oh, we should get to bed. We have presentations in the morning. <laughs> Absolutely. Which yeah. is and awesome. I, I think as well, when you're saying about, yeah, just come and ask us a question. I think there's there's no question too big because I remember when you introduced me to another mutual friend of ours, Phil. And 
Yeah. yeah what, what had happened was that same conference where we all met, I'd, uh, I'd booked a room, I'd flown from the UK and they'd give me this huge uh, room. And I, I, I was just by myself. And they, gave me, a, they gave me a twin room. So in jest on the first night, I, I get on, uh, I think it was Instagram stories or something. And I get on and I said, Hey, look, here I am. I'm in Anaheim, really excited to get going. They've, um, you know, they've upgraded me. I've got this huge room. I'm on my own. So, you know, if you're here and you're stuck, come, come stay with me. And then like after breakfast, I think it was, or maybe around lunchtime, Amy comes up to me and like, oh, hey, Amy, only just met her the day before. She's like, you know that thing you said on Instagram? Did you mean that? And I was like, yeah. And she went, this is Phil. <laughs> and then like that, <laughs> Phil moved in with me. <laughs> Phil moved in with me for the next four days. It's it's <laughs> very possible. I don't remember, but I do have a tendency to connect folks like that. And I think I was the reason that Phil came. Yeah, probably. Yes, because you talked about it. And I, I think I'd you. met Phil. Yeah, I'd met Phil online mm -hmm. somehow. And he it and I connected. It was I was like, like social media. Calm down. Yeah. Yeah, it was social media. And I was like, calm down. And then he came down. And he's like, I have nowhere to stay. <laughs> so it was like LA that's, to a, that's a great memory. Yeah. Because yeah, he was willing to like commute if he had to. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, wait, why, why do that though? <laughs> <laughs> Why do that? Yeah, and, and what I did was something there as well. Was feel like, oh, let, let let me pay for the room, man. I was like, no, 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 no. They just like you'll do me a favor one day, and I keep eking out that favor whenever I need something. Like <laughs> he, he's permanently in my in my debt, which is great when he's such a great singer and a presenter and an editor as well. Yeah. So I've got this constant resource. Uh, that's awesome. But no, it it's just I, 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 that's that's probably an extreme example, but it's a really great sense of of what the community's like and i think as we've seen more and more big companies coming become involved and take podcasting seriously and inject lots of money into podcasting i think there's been a little fear that that's going to disappear but no. i've not seen any evidence of that i, I just still see no. like I, I i talked about this before with amy like i flew over to germany for i, I was going um for a bachelor party and on the way i stopped via berlin uh, to have a meeting and I had two meetings scheduled one was cancelled and so I had like six hours just wandering around Berlin which is great it's a lovely city but I, I got onto the I got onto Twitter searched for the hashtag Berlin and post podcasting and said anybody um anybody fancy lunch chatting about podcasting and within 15 minutes I got a message and an invite and I got really one of the guys, that, yeah such I, an and thing to I, do yeah, it is an thing to do <laughs> <laughs> But but this guy met me and, and we're, we're going to do one of these conversations with him and his wife, and he was like, he says it was it was very kind of cold war. It was like we at this tram station in twenty minutes. I'm wearing a red coat, <laughs> you know, it's just <laughs> I, and and that was Albert, and he, he took me out and we had lunch, and he was like, oh, I saw you're vegan on your Twitter profile, so I'm taking us here, and oh, the, there's this so one, cool. wonderful thing about so, so I suppose there's there's one aspect from it, you know even if you don't want to create your own brand or have a successful business, you know, if you just want to make friends, it's a wonderful community to get yeah. involved with. It is. Totally. And that, you know, to that point, I, I can't, I can't stress enough how much those relationships, Amy touched on it at the beginning of the show. I mean, Amy and her sister have come hung out with us at the heart house here. Many Christmases now, uh, you know, and, and we're family now. And, and, um, and there are so many people who mean the world to me, who have come to me by way of podcasting yeah. and by way of podcast movement. So just got to big up Jared and Dan right now on that note, too, because uh, there's been so many meaningful relationships yes. for me that have come by way of, of podcast movement. So, And, and we'll continue. I mean, uh, the pandemic has kind of put a small dent in those plans, but, you know, yeah. We've had a streak of going to podcast movement. It's a place where we kind of meet people and uh, develop. And that's where we catch up, right? Podcasting yeah. is such an international movement. I mean, ants in the UK, there's so many people on the Eastern Hemisphere that we're meeting still. And so yeah. that's uh, highly, we love getting together like that and just catching up with one another. And But it's like no time ever passes, right? Never. Never. <laughs> It's yeah, the best. I, I haven't aged a day. I don't know about you guys, but you know, I'm still. You haven't. 
<laughs> Steven still looks the young, beautiful. Look at him. Still, still hasn't grown back any of the hair yet. Whatever. <laughs> well, it, 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 it's nice. You, you're just talking about like how it's a global thing. Like just looking over Steven's shoulder there, yeah. that amazing map he's got on the wall. So yeah. one of the things that um, Corona stopped for me was I, I was at Podfest in uh, February, well, March last year, 2020. Yeah. And that was kind of like the last big event before Corona locked everything down. And I flew back to the UK and was supposed to have about five days before flying on to Kenya where they were wow. having the Africa pod fest. It was the very first one wow. and everything kicked in just as that happened. And uh, the weird thing was, I mean, Africa is such a huge continent anyway. This, you know, it, it, that map behind you doesn't really represent just how big it is oh. and how many countries yeah. are there, how many people it's crazy. Yeah. And at the, the, the very same weekend that they were doing the Africa pod fest, there was somebody else was organizing something very similar in Egypt as well. You know, wow. which is kind of like, you know, the, it, it's it's the equivalent in terms of distance. It's probably yeah. the same as, you know, like Washington to sort of, I don't know, Nebraska, something like that. You know, the distance in between it. And mm -hmm. um, th those events didn't happen. They shifted online. But I've still been able to reach out and make connections with those people. And, you know, there's a different culture. There's different languages. There's, um, you know, different shows that they're making there's things but you know what there's consistent it's like which microphone should i get how do i edit this what do i record and it's this wonderful unifying thing that brings us all together <laughs> yeah yeah well guys i we could go on and on honestly uh especially we since can. we can easily <laughs> but I'm, i want to be conscious of your time because you got things to do you got podcasts to start too so go yeah. do that course um thank you Ant, for jumping on steven thank you so much for being thank you bro. for having me Amy. you know good to talk to you Ant. always a pleasure yeah, really great to see you and you know i know we didn't get to do a, a podcast movement last year but this was like a little a mini movement which was great and it scratches that itch for a little while <laughs> all right guys I we're gonna it. let you go have a great time